Hey everybody, welcome back. We are still on price, elasticity of demand, and now we're gonna look at an important relationship. The relationship between price and total revenue, okay? Based on the PED value. So the P to total revenue, price to total revenue relationship based on the PED value. But I wanna put up a cautionary, cautionary warning right from the beginning, okay? I want you to understand that some professors, okay, including me sometimes, all right, what we do is we get you guys thinking about the relationship between price and total revenue, and we keep asking you price and total revenue questions because they're super important, and then we just throw in this quick question about, hey, if price goes up, what's gonna happen to QD, quantity demanded? Well, guys, QD's going down. I don't care what the PED value is, okay? So. The law of demand states, price goes up, QD goes down. That's never gonna change. So price to QD relationship, always inverse, no matter what PED is. However, the PED value very much determines the price to total revenue relationship, and that's what we're doing here. Here we go, let's get started. I've got three curves already up here, okay? And I've already kind of told you what they were. I made this a little bit easy. I don't love doing that, but hopefully you can see, okay? A flatter demand curve, okay? Look how much QD is responding, quite a bit to a price change. That's elastic, flatter demand curve, elastic, responsive, QD, responsive to the price change. Any lasting, okay? QD change, not all that big for a fairly big change in price, okay? QD, not changing very much, inelastic, not that responsive. And then over here, we've got a unit elastic situation. Now, I just wanna throw in just a little warning here, okay? I've kinda drawn it as a 45, and in some ways I wish I wouldn't because I want you to understand something, guys. A 45 degree demand curve is still elastic at some portions, unit elastic at a certain spot, and inelastic at other portions, okay? So, in fact, I kind of did that opposite if you're kind of following my hands there. It was actually at the higher por portions of the demand curve, it's elastic. The lower portions of the demand curve, okay, to the further to the right, it's inelastic. And there's some point that is unit elastic. I don't care if it's a 10% or 85%. It doesn't matter what that um, slope is right there. Some portions will be elastic, some will be unielastic, and then others will be inelastic every single time, okay? So 45 degrees does not necessarily mean unielastic. I just wanna get that out there. I don't want you tripped up by that in case that happens on the test, all right? And you'll see a video on that, what, that, what I just talked about here in a little bit. Now let's get to it, okay? Price total revenue, that's why you tuned in anyhow, okay? Let's take a look at it really quickly. Remember, we got an elastic curve. Let's talk about the price going up. I can talk about the price going down. I'm actually gonna talk about both, but let's start with the price going up. A price of $2. At a price of $2, what's the total revenue? $2 times eight, that is $16. Price goes to $3, so I write price of $3. What's the total revenue gonna be? We're now only buying three, so three to three. The total revenue is going to be nine. Price went up, what did total revenue do? It went down. There you go, guys, that's elastic. Elastic, we've got an inverse relationship between price and QD. Now, of course, if price went down, what would be the situation? Price goes from three to $2, pretty simple, right? Price goes down, three to $2, what total revenue do? It went up, that's an inverse relationship. However, I don't want you memorizing that, guys. I want you to be able to think about it. So let's think it through for a second, okay? When we raise prices, let's go back to the way we originally did it, okay? When we raise prices, say we're a company, okay? Because companies care about this stuff quite a bit. When we raise prices, who are we thinking about? People that weren't buying the good or people that are buying the good? Here's what I'm gonna tell you guys. If we're raising prices, we're not trying to attract anybody to buy it. We're not worried about the people that weren't buying it. It's not, it's not like people that weren't buying it are now gonna buy it because we raised the price. What we think about is when we raise the price, how many people are we going to lose, okay? Well, if they're elastic, when we raise the response, those people that were buying it are gonna respond and stop buying it, okay? The QD, the percent change of QD is gonna be greater than the percent change in price. And that's why we're getting the inverse relationship, right? We raised the price, they were elastic, they stopped buying it in droves, all right? We lost total revenue, raised the price, total revenue went down, inverse relationship inelastic, okay? They're not very responsive to price changes. Just think about that. That should be pretty simple, right? They're not very responsive to price changes. This would be the time to raise the price, right? Look, at a price of $2, $2, they're buying six. We've got, whoops, that was a 12, it's supposed to be a 12. There's my 12 right there. Then we raise the price to $3. At $3, they're buying five. So three times five is 15. Well, there we go, fill that in. 
price goes from two dollars to three dollars total revenue goes up price goes up total revenue goes up what type of relationship is that that is direct okay sometimes referred to as a positive relationship and it works the same way if we lower price okay lower price total revenue is going down lower price tr goes down they're going in the same direction it is a direct relationship i don't care if you raise price or lower the price and this should make sense let's once again just take a second on our common sense we raise the price they're inelastic, okay? They're not gonna respond very much. They're gonna continue to buy the good. When we raise the price, if the percent change in QD is less than the percent change in price, it makes sense. Total revenue is going up. Just get it to that point where it's just common sense to you. Finally, unit elastic, price of $2, okay? What were we buying? We are buying six. Two times six is $12. That's the total revenue. Then we raise the price to $3. They're buying four, so price of $3. Three times four is a total revenue of 12. We'll take a look at that. That's unit elastic, guys. Raise the price, total revenue stays the same. Lower the price, go from three to two. Total revenue stays the same. That's unit elastic, okay? The P to TR, no relationship. We increase price, lower price, TR still does not change. Direct relationship, inelastic. Inverse relationship, elastic. Hopefully that made sense to you. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you in the next video.